Alright guys, what is going on today? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about Ida. Why everyone falls in love with Ida. I think everyone falls in love with Ida because her ability is a virus. A virus that she cannot control. That is why everyone who is a man or a woman will fall for her. The thing about Ida is that she's a cyborg. She's similar to Boro. Boro could control his viruses, but Ida can't. Which is why a model says, Ida cannot control her powers. Now with Ida being a cyborg, she cannot control the technology in her body. So I believe the virus is a technology similar to her Senrigon. Whereas to the Senrigon, she cannot control that fully either. Since she said that she's watching everything consistently, only thing she can do is jump to certain areas and watch that in more detail or go back to a certain event in time. So that means her eyes, just like her body, are being controlled uncontrollably, meaning she has no power over them. And that makes sense as back in chapter 57 when her and Code are talking, she tells Code that the five kages are planning to take him down she was telling that to code while naruto was talking to the kages so that means she's able to see everything so that goes back to the ideas that her powers for watching everything are uncontrolled on top of everybody falling in love with her are uncontrolled meaning she is really unstable now what is that virus i think that virus is a pheromone once you're in the distance of her the pheromones take control of you it's similar to boro's virus where if boro unleashes the virus anybody in his vicinity will end up catching the virus and in this case the virus goes inside your body and takes control of your senses of love and we know that once a virus enters its host it starts to multiply and starts taking over and we've seen that with boros virus but mitsuki was able to make a cure against it so with the virus being a pheromone it increases the body's love response and the love response is based on the symptoms that amaro talks about like elevated heart rate feeling dizzy and all that sort of stuff those symptoms look like of someone who's in love with somebody else so the virus being a pheromone your body will react to whatever is releasing that pheromone in this case ida is releasing it unconsciously and if you're in her vicinity you're gonna get captured i think that's how it works because if you look at it if everybody could fall in love with ida then they have to see her they have to be in the same room with her that's why amaro says everybody in that room is already under her trap so it makes sense on how her powers work you gotta be in the vicinity around her for her powers to work on you now why don't her powers work on Otsusukis? i think that is because they're aliens their bodies are completely different as amaro says they are parasites and i think this virus only works on humans since amaro constructed the cyborgs as you've seen with delta Boro, Code, Kawaki, they're all been modified and they're still humans at the end of the day. But Otsusukis are built different and this virus doesn't react to them. It can also be said that this man-made virus doesn't work on aliens or that they already have the cure for these type of viruses. Since the Otsusukis are pretty advanced and their bodies are built differently, they could have a bunch of cures for diseases on earth that the humans don't have. So that's why I think about her powers not working on Otsusukis. They're completely different than humans. Her powers working on humans makes much more sense since she is a human. Now why don't her powers work on family i think that's hard to say as we don't know if damon can truly attack her or not maybe she was exaggerating when she was telling code that her powers don't work on family though we don't know for sure until damon actually attacks her but for now we'll have to take Ida's word for it but i think the idea is that the virus goes into the brain and the brain knows that there are siblings so it doesn't release the same chemicals as a person who is not a sibling for example let's say borto likes serata he knows that you know he likes serata brain's gonna release chemicals towards serata as to if borto says he likes himawari the brain knows there are siblings he's not going to have the same type of response he has for Serata to Himawari. So that is why I think the brain is able to overpower the emotions that are released from the virus. It's also a possibility that is based on the actual blood itself. The virus reads the blood and knows that it is the same blood type that's from the host. So its powers don't work on somebody who is of the same host. So that is why I think her powers don't work on family, nor do they work on Otsusuki's. But with Ida's powers being a virus, it makes much more sense to me because she is a cyborg. And similar to Boro, Boro had a virus as well. So I think there is a connection between the two otherwise her powers are too broken and there has to be a way out of her powers and only having an otsusuki beat her is kind of bull in my opinion so i think the virus goes into your brain and it starts messing with your brain or it starts releasing chemicals that make you fall in love with a specific type of person for all we know the virus could infect that part of the brain that makes you love somebody else so in this case the virus already starts implanting its data inside that part of the brain where it'll say that you like ida instead of this person let's take boruto for example boruto likes serata but then the virus infects boruto and his brain starts to automatically go towards Ida and the ideas are being programmed inside his brain the virus is taking over that part of his brain where it's telling him to love Ida instead of Serata so that is how I see it though this is all just an idea and opinion let me know what you guys think of this thanks for watching please comment like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come